Hey guys, Mason here. Now, does anyone remember way back when I said how much I love prototypes? Prototypes, who doesn't love them? I love them, I love saying the word. It makes me feel awesome saying the word. Now, there's a reason I really like prototypes is because they usually lead to something awesome being sent our way on a more permanent basis. And that was no exception because behold, ladies and gentlemen, the Planet Eclipse EMAC MG100 here in the flesh or glass reinforced nylon, depending on how you look at it. Mixed with aluminum and rubber and all kinds of fun stuff. But anyways, the point is it's here and we're gonna have a good look, so let's go. So, um, the, the basics are uh, explained in your manual. 10 round magazine. This is a damn mag. Damn mag. And operates exactly like every damn mag would. So you pop your, your covers back, load your rounds in, and then close it up. Now, it's important to remember that when you insert this into your MG100, the rearmost tube is the one that we'll be feeding. So if you're shooting first strikes, you gotta remember that this one back here is the one that's gonna be shooting that way. Um, you get two barrel covers, a traditional shaped one, as well as then one that is similar to the old flatline ones. It's a good deal wider, and that's for going over the shroud itself, if you have the extended shroud on. This is your PAL hopper adapter. Make sure you don't lose this. This is your PAL plunger, and this is what makes the PAL work. It goes with the PAL uh, feed neck adapter, as you might suspect. Uh, keep an eye out for a video down the road uh, for us to explain how to reinstall one of those should you take yours off or want to install yours. One other thing you're going to notice about your MG100 little spares box is it comes with these. Some replacement ball followers as well as two upgraded springs. Now, what these do is you'll notice the little flat face on here. What this does is it actually catches the bolt when the mag is empty and keeps it from shooting. So it acts like a uh, bolt carrier being stuck when there's no uh, when there's no bullet in the chamber. All right. So you'll be pop, 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 and then pull the trigger. Nothing, nothing. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Obviously, eject mag, spin it, put it back in or eject, replace. That's what these are for. All right. This is it right here. This is what you get as far as the gun goes. OK, so you have this is first of all your dummy mag here, which is easy enough to remove. You might notice that um, it seems like it comes apart. Well, guess what? It does. It comes apart and you can stash things in there. Uh, you just want to be careful when you're opening it because you don't want to break it when you mess with the lock. So there you go. It won't hold much, but you don't need to put much in here. It's not like you need a battery or anything. You can go hopper fed with this. It will accept the PAL. It comes with a, a PAL hopper attachment, but you buy a mag fed gun to go mag fed. Let's face facts here. This is a two piece shroud, which is removable. Easy enough, actually. There we go. It's a little bit stiff and there's nothing wrong with that. So that can come off if you want to go for a shorter shroud here. It does have the shaft barrel two piece so you can swap out the backs or you can swap out the whole barrel if you'd like. And if you get yourself something like a carbon fiber barrel and you want to keep it nice and well protected, you just slide that back on there and pop your clips back in and away you go. Obviously Picatinny rails all the way down uh, the top along the bottom here. And the gas through frame with the regulator SL5 down here. You also have pops right here, easy to use. Push button safety right here, along with the single setting trigger. Now, the one thing you can change about this is the actual return tension on it. The spring that's inside is purely for the return of the trigger itself. It does nothing to uh, influence the operation of the three-way valve inside. So if you find that this is a little bit stiff, you probably won't, but if for whatever reason you do, you can replace that with just about any tension spring you want, so long as it is enough to bring the trigger forward again. So these are the clips for the uh, front shroud and there's one on either side and they mount just like that. So they press in, uh, easy enough to do with your fingers, despite what you may see with me doing it. Uh, one on either side and they send you two spares as well. So you end up with four. Back here, uh, as with the traditional EMC kit, you can, <clears throat> sorry, I don't have thumbnails anymore. I just got a manicure and it was fabulous. So if you have a sling with a quick disconnect, you can uh, mount it in here and then you're good to go in that uh, respect. Toolless access to the grips. So just like on the original EMEC, you pop the locking tab out, and then the back one comes off first. It's a lot easier to do when I'm not trying to show somebody. There you go, there's the back. And then the fronts come off, just like that. Now you have access to all in here, which can hold a bit of paint. It's not going to rust or anything because obviously it's just the glass reinforced nylon, but still a good idea to keep your stuff clean if you happen to get anything in there. Uh, former eye covers, now just detent holders right here, removable, and then you could just swap out or clean your detents as needed. The cap right here uh, for the 
hopper attachment and also the uh, the pal is a bit I don't want to say difficult to remove. There's a process to it, and honestly, it's uh, it can be a little harrowing because you can feel like you're going to break it, but you're not. So, anyhow, like I said, it's a magfed gun. You're going to run magfed. So, a quick word about the stock. This is how we operate. So, open up the tab here at the bottom is your locking tab, and first we'll just do the straight standard mount. So, take your adapter, open it up, and it clamps over the end of your 98 stock, which we're just using a Killhouse 98 stock. So. On there just like that and then push them up and there you have it and you want to take that if you can so it should look something like that not something like that it should look exactly like that and then slider in locking tab in place and you've done it stock install easy to do the drop there is slightly different process so first Take the drop piece, clamp that in there, and then that one goes on there just like that. Now this one actually has bolts that hold it together, which you will then attach and it will clamp on. Then you repeat the process, but you treat this like the original stock adapter. So the adapter goes on. Adapter goes in. That little tricky to reach. There we go. And that's in there. So you see, you get that drop. So if you have a mask on, you can get down right in close like this to the top of the rail. And you can actually use any optic. You're not going to be as required to use a riser uh, with a mask on. A word about the drop here is it is a requirement if you want to use the PWR stock. That's the gas through stock uh, that Eclipse has come up with that we are carrying as well. You will, as I said, be required to use this because it is designed to meet up with a 13 CI tank set of here and then the dimensions just require this to be on here. Okay, so again, you're going to get that nice drop and you're going to be able to get in nice and close with a mask on and just look through iron sights rather than having to use a full-on optic or something like that. So, long style. Short style. There you have it, it's the MG100. It's the gun for everybody. It's available online and in store. Get yours today for Badlands. Oh yeah. As always, I'm Mason from Badlands and I'll see you out there.